Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is dual back button focus and dual auto focus selection areas. This takes back button focus to the next level. We're essentially setting up our cameras for back button focus, but we're going to have one back button focus for zone or group auto focus areas, and then we're going to set up one back button focus for a single point auto focus so that we can zoom in tight on an eye or something like that once we've acquired focus with the bird. So there's two ways in the Canon camera system to get into the custom menu you can use this icon that's on the back of the screen and you can get to the back of the screen by pressing the Q button or you can go into the menu system and you can select custom controls both of those methods work setting up your camera for back button focus is a two-part thing first you've got to disable the autofocus on the shutter release button and then you need to set it up for the button that you choose on the back of the camera first thing we're gonna do is, is disable the focusing on the shutter and so that's the icon highlight on this screen and we're gonna press the set button and we're gonna go in there and then we're gonna switch it from metering and autofocus to straight metering so now the shutter button will do the metering and the shutter button will also take the picture you press set to get into that menu then you press set after you've changed it and then part two here is we're gonna go back into custom controls we're gonna go down to the button that you choose to use as your main back button focus and I like to use the AE lock or the auto exposure lock button and that's the middle button up in the upper right hand corner of my camera and I choose that one because it's raised a little bit it sticks out a little bit further than the other two buttons and so my thumb hits that first it can always find it and so I use that one as my back button focus so I just simply go into that menu and I make sure that it's on metering and auto focusing I press the set button and I've set this up now there's one other thing that we can do here we can set those back button focus points so that they're continuous focusing and they have variable focusing points so we'll go into the custom control menu again we'll choose that AE lock button or the asterisk symbol there and we're going to see this menu then we're gonna press the info button and we'll get into this menu and then we just want to scroll down and we want to make sure that AE operation says AI servo and for Canon that's continuous focusing so we want to do that and then the next thing that we want to do is we want the the AF area selection mode to be whatever we just have set on our camera and so we'll choose this little dash bar which is maintain the current setting we press the set button to get okay and then we've gotten out of this menu system we can just back out of it by pressing okay so now we have our camera set up so that we will autofocus using back button focus using the center button on the upper right hand corner of the camera there the AE lock button that will meter and focus and then the shutter button will actually just take the picture and we've also set it up so that whenever we're using that AE lock button or the asterisk icon we will be able to go into continuous focusing and the camera will go into whatever autofocus select Selection areas or autofocus points that were have been previous active it will go right into those that's a pretty standard way to set that up second thing that we can do is we're going to set up a second back button focus we're going to use continuous focusing but we're going to put it on a single point AF so we're going to go into the AF on button and that it's the third button to the left and so we're gonna set that up a little bit differently so we're gonna go into this menu we're going to make sure that it says metering and AF focusing and then we're gonna press the info button and you can see here that I've changed the AF operation to servo and I've changed the AF area selection mode to just one center point I could have changed it to any of the seven focus points or I could have selected the dash the little bar which would have maintained the current one but I want this one to be focused right in on one single point so I can use the main back button focus or the AE lock slash asterisk icon I can use that to acquire my subject and then I can use the AF on button I can use that to give me a single point to get right on the eye of the bird so this will allow me to get sharper images more often if the bird flies in and lands or if the bird is moving around a little bit and then I can pause the action and I can get right on its eye and so this is how the three buttons are set up on my camera so the button on the left is going to be single point autofocus the button in the middle is going to be my zone or group AF because that's what I'll, I'll have it on part of the time my default is to have it on the single point with the four surrounds so that'll by default it'll be on whatever I leave it on but it could be on the zone or the group and then I could switch to single point when I use the AF on button and then I still use the 
AF selection points, the button on the right, I press that and then with my index finger on the other side of the camera by the shutter release, there's a multi-function button and I use that to scroll through all the autofocus selection points so that I can go from single point to group or zone really easily. So that's how I've set up the back of my camera. I set this up using examples with the Canon 5D Mark IV. They're very similar with the Canon 7D Mark II. Hey, remember, if you want to learn more about bird photography, you can get a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography, the complete field guide for beginning and intermediate photographers and birders. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and as a trade paperback. If you'd like to get a signed copy, you can buy one from my website, timboyerphotography.com. I will sign it for you and ship it off to you. If you're interested in learning even more about bird photography, consider joining me on one of the workshops I lead throughout the Western United States. You can see those workshops at timboyerphotography.com. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like, share, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And hey, thanks a lot for watching this week, guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.